K-State's road to the Big 12 championship began where it ended at Kansas City's Arrowhead Stadium on August 23rd against a talented California team in the BCA Classic. The seventh ranked Wildcats wasted little time in showcasing an offense that would evolve into one of the nation's best as Darren Sproles raced 53 yards on the Cats' first play from scrimmage. And a man in motion is Antoine Polite. First carry of the day, and this is Darren Sproles, and he's at midfield to the 40, to the 30, to the 25, 20, to the 10, and bumped out of bounds at the seven yard line, a 55 yard run. Tim Mixon makes the stop. Are you kidding? What a play. Three plays later, Sproles scored from five yards out, and the Wildcats were well on their way to putting up over 500 yards in total offense. Sproles rushed for a then career high 175 yards on the evening, adding to his school record with his 10th consecutive 100 yard rushing game. L. Roberson also had an efficient night as he completed 9 of 18 passes for 205 yards and three touchdowns and put the Wildcats ahead 27 to 7 late in the second quarter with this strike to James Terry. Wideouts left and right. Also flanked to the left is Darren Sproles from the shotgun. Second and 10 from the 43 for Roberson. Pump fakes. Down, down the sideline. There's Terry. 25, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown, Wildcats. 57 yards. California would not go quietly, though. The Bears rallied behind a passing game that would account for 378 yards as they showed why they would become one of the best teams in the Pac-10 in 2003, a team that would later own the only victory of the season over national champion USC. But the Bears never got any closer than two touchdowns as K-State continued to put points on the board en route to a 42-28 victory. A week later in the home opener against Troy State, the Wildcats fell behind 5-0 but then exploded for five touchdowns in the next 13 minutes to take a 34-5 halftime lead. L. Roberson rushed for three touchdowns in the second quarter, and the Wildcats special teams added a score with Danny Morris doing the honors for the third time in his career. Olmstead will punt, stands about four yards deep. Pretty good kick here. Oh, it's blocked! The Cats got it! Danny Morris catches it and is into the end zone for a touchdown! K-State scores on special teams to make it 33-5. K-State's defense dominated the final three quarters as Troy State didn't go over 100 yards in offense until the fourth quarter. Davin Dennis provided the final points with this 57-yard reception from Roberson as the Wildcats rolled to 2-0 with a 41-5 victory at KSU Stadium. Offense, defense, and special teams all contributed to K-State's 55-14 victory over McNeese State in game number three. K-State has it first and 10 from the visitors, 43, and Roberson fakes, wants to throw on first down, under pressure, fires downfield, that ball is caught! Touchdown, James Terry! Right on the money, 43 yards! From the 34, it's second and three, Roberson, option left side, this is Sproles, he's at the 30, 25-20, 15-10-5, Count it, touchdown, 34 yards for Darren Sproles. Pendarvis, one for six, throwing here, intercepted in the secondary. This is Rashad to the 35, to the 30, to the 20, to the 15, to the 10. Touchdown, K-State, 45 yards on the return for Rashad Washington. Fourth and a yard, ball just shy of the 28. A little low, and the kick is blocked. It's in the air, being chased, and into the end zone for the Wildcats is David Rose. David Rose falls on that for the Wildcats. But the biggest story of the day happened on a play that nobody noticed as L. Roberson fell on the turf and injured his left hand in the second quarter. He missed the next two games and wouldn't return to 100% for more than a month. And oh, how the Wildcats' season changed during that stretch. There were no scares on this day as K-State improved to 3-0 with a 55-14 win over McNeese State. Senior Jeff Schwinn got his first career start the following week against UMass and responded by completing 17 of 26 passes for 228 yards and a touchdown. The Minutemen drew first blood with a 65-yard touchdown pass on the opening drive, but K-State would score 38 unanswered points including three touchdown runs from Darren Sproles, who ran for 152 yards. 
K-State moves to 4-0 with a 38-7 victory over UMass. Marshall, one of the winningest programs in Division I during the past decade, paid a visit to KSU Stadium on September 20th and shocked the Wildcats with a 27-20 victory. The Wildcats looked to be in control of the game early and were marching in for a 14-0 lead when Jonathan Goddard picked off this errant pitch and rambled 84 yards to tie the game at 7. A strong inside running game kept K-State's defense off balance the rest of the day as the thundering herd rushed for 210 yards and took a 19-13 lead on this field goal early in the fourth quarter. Darren Sproles put the Wildcats back on top 20-19 with a 12-yard touchdown run, but Marshall answered right back with a 60-yard touchdown drive and a 27-20 lead. With one minute and 27 seconds left to play, Schwinn calmly led the Wildcats into scoring position with a drive that began at the Wildcats 29. This amazing 33-yard catch and run by Darren Sproles gave the Wildcats first and goal. But the Wildcats could not convert the red zone opportunity as this pass to Davin Dennis fell incomplete on the game's final play. Marshall 27, Kansas State 20. L. Roberson returned to the Wildcats lineup for the Big 12 opener at number 13 Texas in what was one of the most exciting games of the year. In the end, the difference was probably the fact that Texas blocked a punt for a touchdown and K-State's block punt rolled out of the end zone for a safety. Turnovers and some missed red zone opportunities also hurt K-State as the Wildcats drove inside the Texas 30-yard line three times in the first half but managed only three points. Texas then grabbed a hold of the momentum just before half with this 51-yard touchdown reception by Sloan Thomas for a 17-3 halftime lead. K-State dominated most of the second half and got back into contention on this play of the week run by Roberson. Trips to the left this time. Roberson goes in the gun. Single setback is Travis Wilson. L pump fakes to the right. Now scampers to the right side. Needs a block from Casey. Got it. He's at the 20. To the 15. L still on his feet. Down the sideline. 10. 5. Touchdown. Touchdown Kansas State. And L Roberson on one of the most beautiful runs you'll ever see. Another Roberson run gave K-State a 20-17 lead early in the fourth quarter. And the Wildcats looked to be on their way to the game-clinching score when Texas recovered this fumble at the Longhorns' 16-yard line midway through the fourth. Four plays later, Vince Young lofted this 52-yard pass to Tony Jeffrey, and the Longhorns positioned themselves for the go-ahead score. Young provided the final margin, barely sneaking in from one yard out on fourth and goal to give the Longhorns a 24-20 win in Austin. 